it's Allison and this is another episode of Leading Edge Dog Show Academy Tips. And today we're going to show you how to chalk a smooth coated dog. So in this case it's a beagle. So some of the reasons why we chalk our dogs are to make the whites look whiter and to also make the bone look as we would want it for the breed. So the bone looks nice and plush and you know, the hair stands out from the leg the best we can, and he just looks overall aesthetically more pleasing. So we're not changing the quality of our dog. All we're doing is just making him look more pleasing. So how I like to do it is um, I like to use like a self-rinsing shampoo in a spray bottle. My dog's been clean, bathed, at the, you know, he's all trimmed and ready to go. So we're at the dog show. So we have a towel or some paper on our grooming table just to, so that it's easier to clean the chalk up. And we have our self rinse and we're just going to spray his leg with a little bit of self rinse and we're going to work that into the hair and then we're going to take our towel and we're going to towel it dry. So this part is fairly straightforward so far and then we have a product to hold the chalk in there. So we're using um, a hair conditioner called Cholesterol. It's kind of thick and pasty. There's different ones called Chalk Mate or Chalk Helper, but Cholesterol is basically what they're all based on. So I have um, about a nickel sized worth. I'm going to just work it into my hands. And then I want to get it into the hair. So I don't want it to lay on top of the hair, but I want to get it right in there. So I'm kind of going against the grain with my hand, rubbing it all into everywhere that I want the chalk to stick to my beagle. So there I go, I have it all gone in there. So on a smoother coated dog like this, I'm then going to take my bristle brush and again I'm just going to go against the grain to make sure that all the hair is standing up away from the leg as best as possible. And why do we do this? We do this because the more the hair is standing up away from the body, the more chalk can get in there and actually sit in there and that's what we want. We don't just want the chalk to sit on top, we want it to get right in there so that it holds for the duration of the show. So then we've taken our uh, plush puppy powder puff grooming chalk and we've just simply put it into a Tupperware container with a lid and we have like a shoe shine brush, a little bristle brush or a baby hair brush works as well. So something with just soft bristles for our dog and you can either just put your dog's foot over it and you're just going to work that chalk. You know, you're not really brushing hard to get it right in at the skin. And you're just going to load. So you can see because I've brushed all the hair away from the leg with that cholesterol, how you can just see how the hair is already standing up and you can basically load that chalk right in between each hair. And that's pretty much what you want to do. So we're going to work all that chalk in, then we're going to shake it out as best we can. And there we go. We're going to move this out of our way. So now ideally we would like this to sit for about 10 minutes. So at this point, if I was at a show, you know, I have all four legs done. I would most likely move my dog into an X pen or a crate, let it shake off. Um, so we're going to pretend that that already happened. Then we're going to take our clean bristle brush a second time. And again, we're going to go against the grain of the hair and we're going to knock all of that excess chalk out of our dog. So the chalk is set in there for about 10 minutes. The dog has gone down on the floor. He's had a shake. And then we're just going to move all of that chalk out of that leg. So you can see how the difference between the two legs of the dog, the chalked one, and the non-chalked one, not only does this one look more plush, more white, but he also looks like he has more bone. It's prettier, more pleasing to the eye. So once we have that done, now we kind of want the chalk to set in there. So at that, this point, we could take a product like a dry shampoo that you would use yourself, or a little tiny bit of a lighter hairspray, and you just want to spray that chalk so that you help it set into the leg and it doesn't come out when you show your dog. So that's a really important thing. Then of course, if you've seen our handling videos and your dog is standing on a wet towel at ringside, you don't have to worry about the chalk on the bottoms of your dog's feet. If you are worried about it, take a wet wipe and simply 
wipe the excess chalk off the pads of your dog's feet. The last thing you want is to go in the ring and have it look like a chalk outline of your dog's footprints going all the way around the ring. That's a telltale sign that your dog is chalked. So now we're going to move on to chalking his face. So we do this slightly differently. We're going to take the baby wipe and we're just going to make sure he doesn't have any excess dog food or some debris from the ground. And we're just going to simply make this part nice and white and plush. So I would take a little bit of white clown makeup, just a very little bit on my finger. And I'm just going to simply put it very lightly on the whites of his face. And then if there's any on his nose or anything, I'm going to take my baby wipe and clean that off. Now I have a block chalk. So when picking a block chalk, I pick the softest one there is. It's easier to apply. It goes on whiter. You're not rubbing it hard on the dog's face. The thing about it is that they do break and snap a lot easier because they're softer. And then you're just going to go over everywhere that you put the white clown makeup and just make things nice and white so that they look nice and plush and pretty when your dog goes in the ring. So when we are showing our beagle, one of the things that we like to do is we like to show that they have a lovely brush on their tail. So the way I like to do this is I use my bristle brush and I'm just going to brush the hair so it's going the opposite way. So this would be going with the grain of the hair and this is going against the grain of the hair. And then I like these, you know, they're hair texturizing crystals for people. Um, I just buy whatever ones are on sale at the drugstore and I just give a little sprinkle into the tail like this. And it really helps hold the brush of the beagle's tail nice and open like that. One of the things I like about the texturizing crystals is that if you're at a three day dog show, the next day you could just give this a little mist of water and it seems to reactivate the crystals. So you don't really need to use very much. And he wants to check it out to make sure I've done it right. This is how we chalk our beagle, how we chalk the legs, how we chalk the face. You would do this on any smooth coated type of dog, like maybe a boxer that had some white on it, um, a pointer, any of those kinds of breeds. So I hope you enjoyed our video. Please go to our YouTube channel and like and subscribe to it so you don't miss a single episode or visit us on the web at leadingedgedogshowacademy.com. We'll see you next week.